straight into the awards and we've got various categories um, and the is 2021 uh, we've got no we've got no orchestra this year but uh, you just have to <laughs> have to imagine the drum rolls so I say awards for people or organizations that have done special things this year first category outstanding contribution to the sport group and its members um, and there's been quite a few great contributions this year so we have to as, a, as oh, usual with awards we've got to just select one or two winners um, the first winner for this category outstanding contribution uh, I'm pleased to see that say that winner is with us today is Dr Lynette Simpson for the work done earlier this year work done earlier this year where it became apparent that Lynette's department could be actually seeing referred patients from the Bands Clinic and helping with the psychology the anxiety that I have to say when I went down with many as 16 years ago and I found a very close second to the physical symptoms uh, was the mind games, the lack of confidence, the my life is over, I'm a failure, uh, my life's ended, that, that was awful. And I just hope that the work Lynette is now doing in her department is going to make a tremendous difference to those who, as I did, um, suffered so greatly mentally with, with this problem, which is called a balance problem. Yet by far the biggest issues I faced were, were my own demons in my mind. So thank you, Lynette, you're our woman. Can we have a few, few words from you as an acceptance speech as I pass you your award? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm absolutely thrilled. I was not expecting that. Thank you so much. Yeah, I mean, it's it's really nice to kind of come back here today and see everybody again. And I think you've you've certainly welcomed me in with open arms as a group. So thank you so much. And I think yes, I think kind of um, that link between UHL kind of the Balance Clinic now and our department is, has been a really positive kind of outcome for us this year. And uh, I'm certainly keeping track of referrals, so I'm hoping that if we get enough referrals, we can start running uh, groups within our department as well for people, and that would just be fantastic uh, for the year ahead. So thank you so much. I'm really thrilled. Thanks. <laughs> really kind. No, well, thank you, Lynette. So moving on, we've got actually the same category because we felt we had a second winner uh, for outstanding contribution to the support group. Um, and the winner here of that award is none other than Michaela Burson, who a lot of our regular members will know Michaela very well. Uh, she also works at the Leicester Balance Clinic. Um, but the award really for Michaela, she's attended most, if not all of our support group meetings. Uh, even when she's not been presenting, she's been there to contribute and give advice uh, on a, such a regular basis. Ironically, Michaela can't be at this meeting. It's the first meeting she's missed this year. Uh, she's got other commitments, but we, we've got a little um, recorded message from Michaela, which again, hopefully will play okay. Hi everyone, sorry I can't be with you today, unfortunately, um, but thank you very much indeed for the award. It's very kind of you. It's always so lovely to see how much you support each other and how positive this group is and it's a pleasure to be part of it. Thank you very much indeed. So, well, well done, Michaela. Um, she's done so much this year. It's, uh, it's really good to, to see. And um, moving Hi, on, everyone, oh, sorry. sorry, and the next, <laughs> the next category is Outstanding Contribution Professional Care and Treatment for the Balanced Community. It's really difficult. Um, there's, not enough professional care and treatment out there for the balanced community. Um, we know just in the UK, let alone uh, out of the UK, there, there is almost this postcode lottery um, where some areas are well looked after, most areas are not, and you struggle to see or find good specialists. 
Um, and this, this one this year we thought was easier than ever because it was quite an outstanding development that we have mentioned already, but the award goes to both the Leicester Vans Clinic and the Department of Medical Psychology. And, and the reason is what a positive development to actually connect those two departments um, and take, as, as we mentioned just a few moments ago, those issues of anxiety that can lead to all sorts of serious issues, depression, etc., to actually have now a, a formal and free way of being referred for that help but has taken the, the cooperation of both the Vans Clinic and the um, Department of, of Medical Psychology. So I think, Andrew, if you're there on behalf of the Vans Clinic, a few, few words of wisdom from you, please. Andrew Clements, uh, oh, are you there? You. Uh, you're on behalf of the Vans Clinic, and um, thank you. <laughs> There's um, your award. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> um, it's it's great now that we're we're linking up with the with the um, psychological element, which over um, previous years has been missing from um, our balanced patients, um, and hopefully Lynette um, will notice that all of our clinicians, as in the the therapists, are building some sort of counselling element into our treatments anyway. Um, so understanding that and, you know, Michaela's doing some sort of hyp hypnotherapy sessions and we're doing mindfulness sessions. So trying to address, because we're fully aware that vestibular problems do create such um, anxiety and stress for, for the um, people with, with the problem. So um, it's great that it's going to be looking at, addressed. Thanks, Andrew. A question really for both for Andrew and Lynette. We know we're very lucky Leicestershire has now got this, this link, this connection that someone attending the Vans Clinic can request a referral. Is there any general advice we can give to people outside of Leicestershire where I believe there may not even be a department of medical psychology? What, what could we say to anyone who's seeking help for their balance condition um, how can they talk to their clinicians about discovering if such help as this exists outside of the Leicestershire NHS Trust? Well, let me answer that first. Um, yeah, I guess it would be just trying to talk to the consultants or whoever's involved in, in their care and trying to ask whether there's a health psychology. Sometimes they're termed different things. It could be health psychology, medical psychology department. Um, and see whether that kind of exists, but it uh, doesn't necessarily exist in all in all trusts and all places. So um, it may be that you kind of, in terms of mental health care, that's that's delivered by uh, kind of just a generic kind of mental health team as opposed to a specific uh, kind of health related psychology service. So sadly, um, those things may not may not exist, and those links might not be there for people. Andrew, any ideas? Well, no, it, it, that, that's the difficult one. Um, I suppose what you need to do is find some health professional who's interested in vestibular problems, whether it's an OT, a physio, an audiologist, a psychologist, there has to be, you have to find some member of the team who's interested with vestibular problems and tap into what they can provide. Yeah. Um, there are quite a few good resources out on, on the internet, if you can access it. But I, I think ultimately, um, I, I found it's quite interesting looking up things on mindfulness, because mindfulness can be used in so many different ways. If there's nothing available, you can't really go wrong doing something mindful. Whereas um, exercise wise, there are, there are so many vestibular exercises on the internet, but it's actually difficult to know what to do. Whereas mindfulness is, yeah. it, it's, if I say easy, it's easy to understand. No, it's, it's hard to do, but it's very easy to understand the concept of trying to help clear your mind. Um, and then yeah. there are some resources which are relatively easy to access on the internet. Yeah. Um, Good. We anyway, we have. But thanks both of you for what you've done this year with you, and, and we really do hope this will be a great example um, that maybe others in the future will look to follow. 
Um, and certainly we hope our members, if they're not based around Leicester, will cite this as an example where they are. Because um, one day, but this, this should be available to everyone. Uh, it's a huge, huge issue for, for most of us with balanced conditions. So thanks again. Moving on now, if I can get my uh, display to work. There we go. Um, we've got now an unusual one, best international contribution. Uh, for those of you who don't know, we are affiliated with VIDA, uh, who are based in America. Who um, Andrew mentioned earlier, bestibular.org is a wonderful resource there. Um, this is looking at who out there in the world, not based in the UK, has helped our balanced community this year. Um, we felt there was a clear outstanding winner this year. And for those of you who have not seen this yet, do look at Kimberly Warner's production of Life Rebalanced Chronicles. Um, this does also star Rupal, is one of the people in these, these various episodes. It's an amazing series of videos that really gets to the, the nub of what it is emotionally to live with a balanced condition um, and how desperate life can seem. Um, but as again with, with what we do, if you follow the video journey, you see there is hope there as things do get better. But an amazing set of videos that really show the, the human side to the condition. Um, we will put a link out later so anyone who's not seen these videos can watch them. They're, they're so good. If any of you are struggling with family or friends that just can't understand why your life, why you seem to be so devastated, get them to watch these videos. They'll begin to understand it's not just you, that it really does affect your life. Kimberly is based, lucky Kimberly, West Coast America. So she's currently in bed, as I think it would be something like 5 a.m. out there. So what we've done is just recorded a quick thank you from Kimberly. And Kimberly directed and produced the videos on behalf of Vida. Oh my gosh, you guys. I mean, I feel like this um, entire vestibular community has become family this past year. It's been such a long, arduous six-year journey with MTDS, but looking back, um, I'd have to say every single moment of it was worth it because it brought me to you. It shaped my life's purpose, working on the Life of Balance Chronicles, um, and it's nurtured a joy an energy in me, in my heart, um, that I've never felt before, but that I never really thought that I would even be able to have living with um, this vestibular disorder. And so working on the Life and Balance Chronicles with Vida in 2021 was just like the most deeply rewarding experience and beyond thrilling to combine my love for filmmaking, with patient narratives and amazing cast and everything that they shared and their transparency. Um, it was all just like so near and dear to my heart. Um, you all have become a lifeline for me. Um, it's just an incredible honor and I'm so happy that it's touching lives. Thank you. Brilliant. So well done, Kimberly. And we will put the link up for watching those videos. Um, definitely the best content we, we've seen so far for our community. Um, we now move to, uh, this is a first for us, a uh, category nominated by you, the members. Um, so we've loved that because you, as members, have been able to tell us who has helped you, who's made a difference this year. Um, and I think, as Andrew Hugo mentioned earlier about thanking those who care for us. Uh, it's so important to acknowledge people who go out of their way, go beyond the call of duty uh, and help us as, as individuals. This category is for um, people who've been a, a best balance friend but aren't members of our group. Um, I'm delighted to say the nomination was by Deborah Miller who hopefully is with her. And the winner is Tracy Marston, who's an employee support officer 
uh, with Tees, Eskimoir Valley NHS Foundation. Deborah, are you there? And can you just tell us uh, very briefly what Tracy has been doing for you this year, please? Yeah, hi. Um, Tracy has been really, really supportive towards me. Um, she um, was helping me. I contacted her every few weeks um, towards the end of my uh, period of being off sick. Um, and she was really, really um, supportive of me, helping me to prepare for my um, sickness review meetings and uh, to plan for the discussions that I was having with occupational health. And as I was progressing to coming back to work, um, she was um, like helping me to prepare for the occupational health meetings and to um, then have discussions when I came back to work and gave me advice about contacting access to work who were um, really good and supported me in um, doing an access to work assessment. Um, so they um, gave me advice on um, like what um, computer programs that I could get and um, uh, co like computer equipment and also that um, the advice that they gave was useful in terms of negotiating no longer working in a busy open plan office but actually I'm using a desk share with um, um, some um, sort of desk sharing with one of the medics at work and um, so I'm not I'm not always on the in the office on my own but quite often in an office on my own desk sharing with like with um so I'm in with one medic often, but sometimes I'm not a medic. Um, I'm, I'm I'm a manager, but um, we share I share an office with them rather than being in a busy open plan office. And um, it's just uh, that's worked out much better for me because it was just too distracting for me the noise and the um, and the movement of people around the office and um, it, the lights in that office were terrible and really really affected me. So it's been much better since I've moved offices and, and through Tracy's support, it's really, and, and, and having that access to work assessment, I would certainly recommend it for everybody who's at work. And you can self-refer, you don't have to ask your boss to refer. It's a, it's a government um, agency. Um, you can just go on the website, um, access to work website on gov.uk um, and the uh, the, your employer is required to take notice of the recommendations that they make and it, it's made a big difference um, because it's an external agency um, they, they are um, you know the recommendations come through occupational health listen to them your employer has to listen to them and it's it's uh, gives you a good platform for having those discussions yeah um so we recommend them and they give some funding towards um the ad adaptations that you um get so, yeah, brilliant. so Thanks, we will, we'll, we'll, we'll put those links on the website as well yeah that's um, helpful yeah thank yeah. you and we uh, we keep promising this but next year we will get a section on helping members and non-members um, with this issue of employment because as you all know Deborah it, it's not easy with any man's condition and no, when, when, when we were at our lowest we've lost our confidence in just every aspect of our life what we don't need is an employer making the wrong decisions or doing the wrong things which so many of them uh, so many see as, uh, as just just problems they don't want in their organisation. Yeah. Uh, and it's nice seeing from here, Tracy can't be with us, but she said, you know, she's humble getting the reward. Uh, she's so aware that people with long term health conditions, that, that more than ever, that's when they need support. Um, and as Tracy knows, sadly, there are too few organisations that are prepared to do this. So if, if, any members watching this or watching the video, do be aware that, that man's conditions are a hidden disability. I can't talk about American law, but for UK, uh, you have got employment protection. Um, and it's worth any employer understanding uh, that if they were to do the wrong thing, if a case ever goes to a tribunal, uh, because this would be a disability case, there are unlimited damages. 
So it's worth employers doing the right thing and understanding what the right thing is to do. But as I say, we, we've, a lot of us, too, too many of us, have experienced very, very poor treatment um, in terms of employment. So that we hope will change. Thanks, Deborah, for making that nomination. Um, and well done, Tracy. Um, yeah, Tracy's done. been great. She, she really has been so supportive and um, she's got a background in equalities and diversity and she's been really, really supportive towards me. And it's been great having somebody um, there who's, you know, any time I've wanted to meet, meet with her, she's always been able to meet with me in a few days. Yeah. And it's just been really, really good to have someone outside of the, you know, the management structures, etc., outside of HR, who I've been able to speak with. And yeah. it's been fabulous. It's really, Sweet. really helped me. Lovely. Uh, back at work. I've been back at work seven months. I'm not saying it's easy. Um, it's you know, but I'm I've, I've touch wood. Um, never, never been in every day um, without yeah. any problems. Uh, I'm not saying it's easy, but it's it, I'm, I'm doing it. Well <laughs> so, done. Yeah. Well done. Okay. Thank you. We're long really to continue. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And next category is again nominated by the members. And this case, it's actually for best balance friend who is a fellow member of the sport group. So this, um, the older, longer term members will know I keep mentioning this every time. We've got an opt-in group called member to member. It's where you agree to provide, it can be just your email address or email address and phone number. That is then circulated to other members who've opted in. You can then talk to each other. You can make contact, make superb friendships, and you've all got so much in common that I just ask all of you to consider opting in. Uh, we then issue a new list. The next one will be issued two weeks after this meeting, so just around Christmas. So anyone who wants to join the member-to-member -member group, just email in and we'll add your details to it. So this one is important because it means one of our members has not only been getting support, but they've been giving so much support to others. And I'm delighted to say the winner is this year, none other than Ella. Ella Samples, are you there? Ella, I hope you are, if so please speak now. Come on, Ella, where are you? Can anyone see Ella there? I've got a restricted view. Can you see her there, Ruth? I can't, I can't see yeah. her. I'm, I'm just yeah. Come on, um, Ella. Yes, um, one thing that I have discovered on my journey is that I've been planning a, a, a programme that's fitness programme. It's a fitness programme, but it's interwoven with uh you know the rehab and i've gradually developed it really because i started off with vestibular and and balance issues and then i went on to this triple pd which you know really was causing me a lot of uh, problems you know i mean i i could step out of my car and i just go completely you know down or if, if I met a great crowd of people, immediately I'd go down. So um, what I've done is I've developed um, the, well, I haven't developed the exercises, but I've selected certain exercises that help with my balance and then certain exercises that help with my visual, you know, so, when, so that, you know, the visual overload. And that seems to have helped me a lot. That's good, Ella, but, but remember this award is for you supporting others. Um, oh, yes, well, and, ah, ah, yes. If, oh, sorry, if, sorry. If I, uh, if, I, if I add that you were nominated by two different members uh, who said what terrific, upbeat, cheerful support you've given on every contact. So, and, oh. and I must add what others wouldn't know, you did win an outstanding member of the year last year. So you, you've now set a record that you, you're the only person to win two dizzies. 
Um, but on behalf of the group, thank you for being you, for being so positive, actually having your own condition and battling through it. And, and almost at every meeting, you contribute and make these lovely comments about what's working for you. But what a great example of how you're helping others as, as well as getting through your own condition. So, so well done you. Um, and as you're there, a little round of applause from everyone, Perella, have been. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you very much. Yes, yeah, that's very <laughs> interesting. Thank you. Well done. And, and your award's coming very soon to you. It will be, will be delivered soon, Ella. Just moving on now, the, the final category, Outstanding Member Contribution of the Year. Um, and this is the member who we feel has just done that, that extra bit, whether it's sharing of their story, where it's sharing of themselves, but they've helped in a big way. And it normally um, is followed by comments by other members when that member has appeared or done something. And this was very much the case with this winner. Um, and I'm delighted to say the winner this year of Outstanding Member is Amy Sparrow. Are you there, Amy? <laughs> Please speak and you will appear. Are you there, Hi. Amy? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I, I can hear you. And Amy, Thank if you I so could much. Just, if, if I just say, um, we were all so impressed when you spoke at one of our meetings and explained how from such an early age, um, your life really had, had been so dominated by serious balance condition. And yet you spoke so eloquently and was so inspirational in, in how you viewed your situation and how you were going forward with your life. So this is why we felt it, it, uh, it had to be you this year, outstanding member contribution. Um, and we will, for those of you who've not seen it, we are going to just uh, cut out the section where you gave your little talk in the meeting. We're gonna post that as a separate video. But it was an amazing contribution. Um, and well done you for what, what you shared with us and what you've been doing with your life. I, I don't know if you can just tell us what, what have you been up to lately um, since, since we last had your, your talk some six months ago. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, I'm really glad I've been able to help some people maybe feel a bit more positive. Um, I've just been, um, I mentioned, didn't I, that I, uh, I won some funding to do a PhD looking yes. into the yeah. psychological impact of growing up with many years. So as part of that, um, as part of the, the funding package, because it comes from a research council. So um, I'm doing some training at the moment in social research. So I've been trying to get to grips with the philosophy behind different <laughs> research <laughs> methods and it's very confusing <laughs> but yeah it's 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 really good um and I'm, I'm looking forward to getting starting with the actual research and eventually once i've done the training and uh, uh, yeah excellent. now well done and thanks very much and again your award will be coming to you soon thank you uh, but thanks ever so much so that's it, ladies and gentlemen, from the awards. Um, I will shut up again. All I can say is thank you, everyone who's won there. Also, what we will consider, we, we had lots of nominations from members. We're going to look early in the year of uh, whether we can share some of those on our website. Um, so we don't just see the winners, but you see others that have been doing great things for our community. Um, and we just hope that all of these, these winners, they, they help inspire other great deeds, actions next year uh, for anyone and everyone in, in the balanced community. So, thanks, Kevin. Thanks Thank very you. much.